From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Boz. Holiday countdown, not so much a holiday, but certainly something people look forward to. College football, at least for most teams, begins 57 days from now. Labor Day is 59 days away. The fall equinox 77 and Halloween 116 days away. Here's some pictures from our WLTX Gandy's Gardeners Facebook page. We've gotten a lot of pictures over the past few days. Matter of fact, last couple of weeks, a lot of gardens have enjoyed the wet weather that we've had. We've also enjoyed some quiet weather out in the tropics this week and over the next seven days, not expecting any tropical activity. Certainly good news there. We've had three named storms so far. The last one was Cindy and you can see the rest of those names. In the capital city, we hit 91 degrees on Thursday, 92 on Wednesday, no rain yesterday. And we did get a lot of rain at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport on Wednesday, almost two inches of rain fell. A lot of areas missed out. Had a few isolated showers and thunderstorms yesterday. That's going to be kind of the case today. There'll be that chance for a hit or miss shower, a thunderstorm all around South Carolina. It's not going to be any kind of real organized activity. Maybe a slightly better chance for rain along the coastal region of South Carolina as the sea breeze front does kind of kick up a little bit. Looking ahead towards Saturday morning, fairly quiet, partly cloudy skies as we get to the afternoon and the evening hours. Once again, there will be a possibility for some showers and thunderstorms. So once again, that typical summertime like pattern that we all, at least if we've lived here for a while, we all know well. Looking ahead towards Sunday afternoon, another small chance for a pop-up shower or a thunderstorm. In this case, if a thunderstorm were to develop and become severe, we'll have to kind of watch that. Right now, a slight risk for severe weather. So this would be the level two out of five according to the Storm Prediction Center. So that's something we'll have to watch for Sunday afternoon. Here's our lake forecast for the weekend. High temperatures, we'll say generally in the lower 70s, at least that small chance for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm both days. And it is gonna be hot and humid over the weekend, but pretty seasonable, no real like major heat. So certainly great news there. The beach, Rip current forecast, there's a low risk all across South Carolina. Last weekend was a different story, had the high risk and even that moderate risk, and there were a lot of breach rescues last weekend. Hopefully it won't be as busy this weekend. A couple of showers and thunderstorms will be possible along the coastal region of South Carolina. High temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. Here's our seven day forecast for the Midlands. Temperatures close to normal tomorrow and Sunday. Highs today probably in the mid 90s. Temperatures drop down a touch on Monday, scattered showers and thunderstorms expected, and then those rain chances do decrease. The temperatures will start to increase once again. In the upstate, probably a little bit cooler on Monday with the clouds and rain in place, but you notice kind of hit or miss showers and thunderstorms today with highs in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. In that same range along the coastal region of South Carolina, each day there will be at least a possibility for some showers and storms, and you'll notice the temperatures pretty close to normal. The average over towards Myrtle Beach is about 88 degrees. Here's what we're looking at for the next eight to 14 days. Warmer than normal conditions are expected for South Carolina, and this would be June, or I should say this would be July 14th through July 20th.